Camper add-on for Tesla Cybertruck. Turn your Tesla into microhome. Elon Musk delivered on his promise and debuted the Tesla Cybertruck to the delight of the audience. Its design may be the most divisive in recent memory, but several things about this truck have us excited. One option is to set up a camping setup that includes a bed tent and an outdoor kitchen. Hey everyone and welcome to Tesla News, where we bring you the newest and best updates about Tesla and Elon Musk. For daily videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. Outside of the S, 3, X, Y lineup, the Tesla Cybertruck is the second significant Tesla vehicle. The Tesla Cybertruck Outsider is a different beast, and it's the automaker's take on an electric pickup truck. Elon Musk cautioned during his presentation that the design would be too contentious because of its future Blade Runner-esque aesthetic, and no one knew what he meant. Still, it's evident today that he wasn't joking. The Tesla Cybertruck seats six people and has a 6.5-foot bed, which they refer to as the Cybertruck Vault. The top is covered. However, it may be unrolled if you need to put something higher than the vault's roof. The Cybertruck has Tesla armor glass, which is designed to protect the windows from even the most powerful object enemies. Initially, Tesla CEO Elon Musk tweeted in March 2020 that the company had begun researching places for the Cybertruck's manufacture. The truck will be built in the central United States. Electric exclusively reported in May 2020 that Tesla's next facility would be in Austin, Texas. Tesla formally won a tax credit for the new Gigafactory in Austin the following July and initially referred to the factory as the Cybertruck Gigafactory. Still, we later learned that it would be used to build the Model Y. It was later called Gigafactory Texas by the manufacturer. When it opens, Tesla will eventually produce the Model 3, Model Y, Cybertruck, and Tesla Semi at the Gigafactory Texas. When Tesla debuted the Cybertruck, it put a large, clanky wrench into the pickup camper industry machine. The world's hottest pickup truck became incompatible with every specific camper product on the market in an instant, from basic shells to massive slide-in expanders. There will undoubtedly be plenty of Cybertruck-specific campers to fill the hole. Still, Form Camper, a California business, has created a pickup camper that works with both the Cybertruck and standard pickups. It begins as a carbon fiber box that fits neatly between the bed walls before electrically expanding into a hardwalled hut for all electric camping. The campers will have to devise designs that do not sit on or extend past the bed sides, where Tesla's slanted rails will interfere, to accommodate both Cybertruck and standard pickup beds. In the case of Cyberlander, this entails customizing an expandable box to fit the Cybertruck's specific dimensions and connecting it to Tesla's battery. Form Camper takes a more universal approach, designing a simple rectangular box that fits between the sides of almost any pickup bed. Of course, sleeping in a box isn't precisely comfy for individuals who consider themselves among the living, so Form is working on a comprehensive expansion system. Form's electrically actuated box-in-box -box design extends off the back of the pickup truck to create a separate room that drops to ground level, while simultaneously deploying a single hard roof over the entire space. Inside the walls, the completely deployed interior will feature 71 square feet of total floor space and an entrance to the outdoors. A pair of nylon or ripstop canopies will be deployed off the sides to increase the overall covered area. The Form Camper appears to be a high-tech pickup top version of an Aussie hardfloor camping trailer at first glance. Still, it works more like a pickup version of the IO Camper and has an interior comparable to the recently announced Flip 90 Truck Camper. It will be able to camp with or without the base vehicle, relying on electronic telescopic legs to lift off the bed and stand on its own at base camp, similar to the IO Camper. The truck will then be able to go on daytime travels without the added weight of the camper. The form inside will take a few minutes to put up, with a total setup time of about 5 minutes. The twin bed in the camper's pickup top part will be folded in half to create room for the stored kitchen block that will slide out during expansion. When necessary, they'll slide out the kitchen cooktop, sink and separate workstation. A fridge slash freezer and numerous drawers and cupboards will be included in the kitchen block. The kitchen will be able to be used both inside and outside, thanks to bi-directional slides and dual-sided cabinets. The form 
will consist of a cushioned bench between the kitchen block and the back wall for dining on the flip-up table across the seat step up on the bed. The area becomes a wet bath when the bench is removed, complete with a portable toilet, wall-mounted shower, and privacy door. According to the plans, the form camper will run entirely on a battery, either a 300 AH deep cycle lithium-ion battery or the massive automotive pack of an electric vehicle like the Cybertruck or F-150 Lightning. A 400-watt solar charging system incorporated into the roof will aid extended battery life and off-grid autonomy by carrying 189 liters of fresh water beneath the bed and a reverse osmosis system for purifying extra water in the field. Form will use a weight-saving sandwich construction of aluminium honeycomb between carbon fiber to keep the dry weight under 1,000 pounds and the tank-filled wet weight under 1,300 pounds. When packed down into box form, it will measure 9.8 by 4.4 by 3.4 feet. It will easily fit into any truck bed with a length of 5.5 to 8 feet. It does, however, function best with short truck beds and requires a hitch-mounted support arm for adequate stabilization during expansion. To stabilize the camper during expansion, shorter bed trucks will need a hitch-mounted support arm. In addition to the Cybertruck, Form focuses its initial marketing efforts on market leaders, such as the Ford F-150 and Chevrolet Silverado. However, it won't work with the Rivian R1T because the truck has a short 4.5-foot bed. Form intends to finish a prototype by the second quarter of 2022, but specifications and features may vary. It plans to start manufacturing in the second half of 2022, with a restricted first batch of 500 units available. The retail price is expected to be $69,500, but customers who buy now will receive a discount ranging from $5,000 to $20,000, depending on the amount of fully refundable down payment made. The lowest $49,500 pricing level will only be available in numbers of up to 25 units and will require a $10,000 deposit. The notion that Tesla will offer such a vehicle is mainly based on a photograph of a Cybertruck setup for camping that was released with the company's official batch. It's conceivable that this image is merely intended to demonstrate what the Cybertruck can be outfitted with. Tesla is undoubtedly aware of how popular overlanding has become and that it'll be one of the first applications for the Cybertruck. Based on the official image, the Cybertruck appears to be parked amid Northern California's forests of gigantic redwood and sequoia trees. The truck's tonneau cover is retracted, and a tent is erected over the bed, extending the A-line pillars to the vehicle's back. The new design offers a living space in the trunk bed where one can sleep and sit up. But that's it. Tesla has a complete outdoor kitchen that stretches out from beneath the trunk bed, not outdone by Rivian's built-in kitchen for its R1T truck earlier this year. There appears to be a two-burner electric stove and lots of prep counter space. However, there is no sink or refrigerator. Again, Tesla's simply given a single image with no context or explanation of what it could mean. However, it has us thinking about the Cybertruck as a platform for overlanding and the kind of rigs that may be built. However, there's plenty of time to plan since the Cybertruck isn't expected to go into production until late 2021, and the 500-mile version won't be ready until 2022. With that, we've come to an end. Let us know your thoughts and put your favorite exercise in the comment section below. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Until next time.